So I'm going to write something down. I'm going to see if you guys can pronounce it, okay? All right? This isn't your typical second grade lesson. All right, you see the name up there? What is it? Uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually hard. I'm um, ug us tarnol lof us moris. Can you say August? August. Inolopus? Inolopus. Morrissey. Morrissey. So you put it all together, it's August Inolopus Morrissey. Why are we subjecting this group of Tahoe Elementary School students to a lesson in scientific pronunciation? Augustine Oliphas. Okay, very good. That, that might be the only time I say it so smoothly. It's actually all because of this man, Assemblyman Richard Bloom from Southern California. There's a state folk dance. He took some ribbing because of this. We're proud to have it as the only dinosaur that is native to, only to California. That's right, a dinosaur. What Bloom wants to be the next state symbol would be the state dinosaur. It's a duck-billed dinosaur. It's a, a, a leaf eater. It uh, was in California about 70 million years ago. The Augustin Oliphus Morrissey. Had you heard of this dinosaur before you reached out to the scientific community? Not in my entire life. Augustino Phyllis Morrissey. Very good. That's, uh... His friends call him Augie. That's Greg Lucas, the state librarian. I know, and I'm honored to be the California state fossil. Lucas is keeper, so to speak, of all the state symbols. I mean, we have fossils, we have an official state tree, an official motto, marine fish, freshwater fish, silver gold rush town, gold gold rush town. And he should know them. Before he was librarian, Lucas was a reporter too. When I worked for the San Francisco Chronicle, one of the bills we had to cover was the bill that created the saber-toothed cat as the official state fossil. And it was carried by a gentleman named Ralph Dills, who had come to the assembly in 1936. And by the time he carried this bill, he was about 80 years of age and change. And so it was every time he'd bring up the bill, like there'd be all this snickering in the audience about, oh, is he making himself the official state fossil? <laughs> and the Augustin Oliphus, we'll start calling him Augie like Lucas does, would be added to that list. I mean, what's interesting about the Augie, the dinosaur, is that the only bones of it have been found in California. It's a duck dinosaur that's a, a plant-eating dinosaur that lived about 66 million years ago. Luis Chiappi knows all about Augie, the dinosaur. He's the director of the Dinosaur Institute at the Natural History Museum in Los Angeles. There are only two specimens that are known of this dinosaur. One was found in um, Fresno County and the other in San Benito County. Augie made its way through the assembly committees. I'm happy to say it passed unanimously, uh, not without a little bit of ribbing, but, uh, but it did pass unanimously. No pun intended with the ribbing. <laughs> no pun intended. AB 1540 will establish the Augustine Alafis Morrissey as the official state dinosaur of California. And the floor. Eyes 49, no zero, the measure passes. And is moved to the Senate. If the bill passes there, it's up to the governor to validate Augie as the state dinosaur. Oh sure, go ahead and try pronouncing the name. And while the kids at Tahoe Elementary know a lot about dinosaurs. What was your favorite dinosaur of the whole thing? Mm, T-Rex. Stegosaurus has bikes on its back so it can cool it or warm its body. The Triceratops was because it has three horns and it could like protect itself while like if it was eating food and then a dinosaur like a T-Rex would try and attack it, it could use its horns to, um, to protect itself. They didn't really know Augie until we showed them. Now they're all about our possible state dinosaur. And at the end of the day, that's really the point of the whole exercise. Well, the real purpose behind this bill is to excite the imagination of young people around science and STEM education. And if the kids at Tahoe were any indication, if Augie becomes a state dinosaur... Who thinks that should be the, the state dinosaur? Wow, a lot of you. He'll get a warm welcome. In Sacramento, Dave Manocherry for Common Ground.